Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be showing you how you can get this gorgeous gold and nude makeup look. I absolutely love how it turned out. The only thing we changed along the way was the lips. I was planning to do like a purpley pastel lip but we went for nude with the rose gold in the middle and I love how it turned out. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look then keep on watching. So I've already prepped my skin with my Nivea Post Shading Balm. I absolutely love this as a primer. It really smooths out all my pores and it helps the foundation lay really smoothly and gives a flawless application. Now I'm going to go in with my Infallible Matte Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. I also have the Total Cover Up version. Both of these are my go-to foundation. I love how flawless they make my skin look and Especially this one, I need no concealer with it. So I'm just going to pop a bit on my damp blending bud. I just love how this foundation lays on my skin. So I'm just going along and patting that into my skin. I'm not dragging it with my blending bud, I'm patting it in and lock it into the skin as best as I can. Funny story, I was shaving my face. As a lot of you know, I have done a video on this. I do shave my face and get all the peach fuzz away because I find that it gives my application of makeup so much better and it keeps my skin looking really bright and healthy. So I was doing the peach fuzz around here and I slipped. <laughs> and um, yeah, basically I now have half eyebrow. And because I wanted them to match, I painfully I will exaggerate that very painfully had to then shape the other one to match so I have like, my eyebrow stop here I've lost the tail of my eyebrow oh my god not good um, but I will say that the universe has my back still the line and all coming out of this situation and my eyebrows are looking better than ever because my hairs along my tail used to grow really weirdly, like upwards and straggly and curly. So actually, my, drawing my eyebrows on is so much easier now. Little story time there. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with my total coverage just on my chin area. Just because I have a bit more coverage in there because I have spots. And this might be a lot of makeup for some people, but this is just how I do mine. I like a lot of coverage. I'm going to go just across my forehead really quick as well, because cover my freckles. I have nothing against freckles, but it just looks a bit odd when the rest of my face has none, and then my forehead is covered in one. So I just like to put a bit more coverage on my forehead there. Now I'm going to go in with a light concealer under my eye area. Just brighten and conceal under my eyes. I'm just going back in with my damp blending bud. Just pack that in. Let's take it all around my eye area. Then blend it downwards. So, because I want a really healthy dewy glow, even though I have a matte full coverage foundation on, I still want to glow. So I'm going to put some of this Sleek Bare Kiss Illuminator in Monaco just on my cheekbones with my blending bud just to illuminate that area. Check out that glow! I really wanted to make a video on that. I might do a blog post um, but I definitely can't dedicate a whole video to it but these nails! Oh my god, I am loving these nails. They're chrome. I don't know if you can see, but in the sunlight, they have like rainbows on them. I am loving them. They are £2 from Primark. £2. I've had these on five days now, and not one has fallen off. They are just amazing. They do them in silver as well, like unicorn nails. I want to get more. Yeah, just check out that highlighter. So now I'm just going to go in with my favourite Rimmel 
match loose powder. Okay, I love this stuff to bake with. Then with a dry blending bud, this is my powder blending bud. I'm just gonna go in under the eye from the outside to the inside. My small lines and then on my forehead and the powder. Okay, so now I'm gonna go off camera and do my brows and I will be back after. Okay, so that's my brows done. Um <laughs> they're very big and bold today compared to when they're, and they they're a bit lighter as well. I used a different brow product. Not sure if I like it, but yeah, they're not how I normally do my brows, so we'll work with it. I do want to use quite a pastel-y, unusual lip colour today, so I'm going to go with a neutral, pretty, soft browns and golds eye makeup. Actually, maybe silvers. We'll see. We'll see as we're going along with it. I'll be grabbing my 35O palette. I love this palette. It is my ultimate favourite. I'm going to go all over my lid with this pale shade just so that the eyeshadows blend really nicely and they sit well on my lid. So for my crease I'm now going to go in with this shade here and just work that along my crease. Because I have hooded eyes, I'm going just above my natural crease so that when my eyes are closed, you can still see the crease colour. So I'm just going to go in with the brush that I used to do the pale first layer. I'm just going to blend that out. So now that I've smoked the pale brown out, I'm going to go in now with this darker brown, just above the same shade, just on the outer corner, just to add a bit of depth. I'm going to go in with some of my HD cream foundation and I'm going to make a cut crease. I've cleaned up all my crease and created the cut crease. I'm going to go in now with this Colourpop Jinxie which is from the Singara for Super Shop set and I'm going to go in and pack this all over my lid. So I'm back, I've done a fierce, bold winged liner, I love it, it looks fabulous with the gold and I've popped on some lashes don't even have to say what brand they are. You guys know they are the Ardell Wispies. And I really like this look so far. So let's carry on and finish this eye look and go on to the face. So first of all, I'm going back in with the first light brown that we used on the crease. I'm gonna go swish that under. And then I'm gonna go in with the darker brown on the outer edge, like we did in the crease. And then in with the fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend. So now to make the eyes pop even more because I really want them to be sharp, I'm going to go in with my By Terry liner in the waterline. I love this because it has little gold flecks which is going to look really pretty with the gold on top. We're going to warm the face up and starting with some contouring. You know, I am a sucker for some good contouring. So I'm going to go in with my trusty NYX contour palette and just do some really sharp contour. You can see that's already bringing a bit of warmth to the face. Crazy double chins. Beautiful. 
<laughs> now we're going to go in with some blush and highlight. I'm going to be using my favourite MAC compact, the Nutcracker from the Christmas range. This is the peach one. So we have a pink blusher and a gold highlight. I want to use a gold highlight to bring in the eyes so everything ties together. And our favourite part, highlight! Oh my god! Oh! My heart's so happy! Cupid's <gasps> bow, tiny bit on the chin and the forehead because they are the raised parts of our face. Now we're on to lips. I was gonna use my ColourPop Marshmallow. I've been dying to try this. I've had this for months now. I just cannot think of a way to pull this off. But I ordered it because it's so pretty. I was going to use this, but I'm just thinking nude lip, a glossy nude lip, it's going to look so much prettier. Or do I go for black lips again? Mmm, black lips. I think it'd be too much. I think we should go for a nude. So this is one of my favourite nude liquid lipsticks, it's matte, it's by Colourpop, it's called Aquarius 2, which my, I'm Aquarius, so I love it. Yes. I love the Colourpop liquid lipsticks just because they're not drying at all they are so affordable and there's so many colors out just gonna go in and define the edges do you know what I keep changing my mind today I'm just going with the flow I'm actually feeling my Kylie air in the middle it's gold it's pretty it might tie the whole look in together. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm just gonna put a little bit in the middle and then pat it out. Yes. Oh my god, I love that. To finish off, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Fixing Spray and just softly spritz. So in conclusion, that is our look that we created today. I absolutely love how it turned out. I love the gold ColourPop shadow. I've never used that before and I think it's absolutely stunning. And I love how the lips turned out as well. I think it looks so pretty. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to click thumbs up and click down below to click subscribe so that you get notifications on my future videos. Hope you enjoyed.